up with it, y'all? E J O E Business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. So, first thing I saw, because you know, just you know, South Africa looking at you know, see if they got some news. You know, and the title of this video is the most hateful person in South Africa and is Julius because on a little thumbnail it was just a picture of Julius you know so this is for the most hateful person in Africa mm. why for some reason I feel like this is about to be like a little Fox News video and there's only one, I only said that because this guy, he has another video about racism. I don't know. I'm gonna probably do that too. All right, let me know how you guys feel about this. I don't know where this person is from. Probably from South Africa. All right, let's check this out, all right? Are not violent people. Violence came here through a ship in 1652. It was brought by a white man. Rape was brought by a white man. Abuse was brought by a white man. Murder was brought by a white man. Killing of children was brought by a white man. Yes, yeah, in South Africa, there is no black man who initiated violence. Hold on, before I start, the name of this person is, his channel is Ronaldo Goyce, Ronaldo Goyce, all right, so this is his stuff, all right, I forgot to say that, all right, and um, he's, yeah, he is white, he's white, all right, so let's go. That video was recorded on the 13th of October, 2020, it's not an old video. It's brand spanking new. If you're watching this on the 13th of October, those words came out of his mouth today. And for those of you that don't know who this individual is, it's Julius Malema. He is the leader of the third biggest political party in South Africa in the economic freedom fighters. Now, if you think this is something new, if you think this is something that surely mainstream media around the world will report on, you're sadly mistaken. This individual, Julius Malema has been saying these things for at least the last 13 years. He's been uttering these hateful, hurtful, racist, and utterly disappointing comments for at least the last 13 years. When he was the leader of the ANC Youth League, he used to sing the song, Kill the Boer, Kill the Farmer. He has made many, many speeches and utterances that is... I pause it. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Let me know um, everything, how you guys feel about this. All right. Um, I know with the farm killings, how um, I got like a lot of people's like opinion for it. Um, a lot of people um, kind of felt like, um, I guess, like the farm killings are like boosted up more. Like, like as like, I guess, like brought to the forefront a lot, like, like making people look bad, like, like farmer. I don't know. Like. I don't know you guys uh look at my comments you know but anyways let's check this out all right let's go racist hateful and is a direct incitement to violence in south africa but yet he's untouchable he's not spent a single day behind bars for any of the things that he said and that ranges from kill the boot kill the farmer to saying that white people is to blame for all the problems in this country all the crime in this country, uttering that we're not calling for the slaughtering of white people, at least for now, saying we're going to slit the throat of whiteness. There's many instances, if you just had to Google Julius Malema, that you'll find these insane utterings. But every single time he opens his mouth and he says these type of things, then he's protected. He's either protected by his blind and loyal followers, or he is protected by the court system, or he is protected by the commissions that are supposed to take him to task for the things that he utters. 
on numerous occasions. The South African Human Rights Commission has come out and said that what he is saying is not hurtful, hateful, or inciting violence. He recently orchestrated an uprising against a private company in South Africa, in which he asked his over 2 million followers to go and attack a private company. And that is exactly what they did. They went and attacked cliques in this country. They cleaned stores out. They vandalized stores. They petrol bombed stores. They even went to a hospital where there was a cliques inside and said that if you do not close this cliques, we will burn this hospital down. This is the type of individual that we are dealing with in South Africa. This is an individual that the court system just never ever can get hold of. And he can make these utterings. He can say these type of things. And he gets away with it every single time. Mark my words. What you just heard now, it's not the worst thing that he's ever said, but nothing is going to happen even though what he said is hate speech and it is causing a direct incitement to violence. But yet, he's untouchable. And the only question that I've got is, how? How is it possible that after more than a decade of being in politics and uttering these type of things, do you consistently get away with it? If this was a white individual, if this was a colored individual, if this was an Indian or even an Asian individual that uttered exactly the same things that Julius Malema is uttering, they would be behind bars instantly. The court case would have been over within three, four months and that person would have been in jail. We've seen instances of racist white people and colored people being put behind bars. But yet, here we have an individual that is blaming the entire white population for the crimes in this country and blaming it on an individual that arrived here in 1652 in Jan van Riebeek. And yet, nothing is going to happen. And why is that, you might ask? Well, it's because of this double standard that we've grown accustomed to in this country, where if you are a specific race and you utter specific things, you are untouchable. However, if you're not that specific race and you utter these type of things, not only will mainstream media condemn you, but you will end up behind bars. And that's the current state of South Africa. Welcome to South Africa. Well, this, I ate, I ate. So, Ronaldo, all right, first time I heard from him. Like the channel, subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Your turn. Let me know how everything he feels, uh, everything you guys feel about what he said. Let me know, all right? You already know what it is, all right? We're gone.